Five, another Metro Atlanta mother is facing charges that she was driving drunk with her children in the car. And tonight, the executive director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving says it's a growing problem. Channel 2's Mike Pachinik live in Roswell with the steps MAD wants lawmakers to take to deter this kind of behavior. Mike. Justin, in the past month or so, we've reported on nearly half a dozen similar cases like this. Adults, primarily mothers, accused of driving drunk with their kids in the car. The most recent happening Sunday here on Holcomb Bridge Road. And we've learned this issue is now catching the eye of lawmakers under the Gold Dome. That's irresponsible. Jorge Rodriguez told me he's surprised that Roswell police say his neighbor, 41-year-old Emily Lee, was driving drunk with two 13-year-old passengers early Sunday morning here on Holcomb Bridge Road. Yeah, she's real nice. I mean, I couldn't see that uh, happening. We went to Lee's house for comment, but nobody answered. Her arrest, the latest in a string of similar cases we've reported on recently. Just two weeks ago, Roswell police arrested 34-year-old Ashley Shields for DUI and child endangerment after they say she crossed into oncoming traffic and hit two cars on Old Alabama Road with her toddler in the back seat. I think it is more common than uh, people realize. In fact, more than half of the children who are killed in a DUI-related crash are the passengers of the DUI uh, offender. That's why Georgia MAD Executive Director Barry Martin told me state lawmakers need to pass Senate Bill 13. It would make a second DUI with a child in the car a felony and require police to notify defects. We think that it should rise to the level of uh, child endangerment or child abuse if there's an injury involved. Defense attorney Justin Spiesman told me stiffer penalties could create issues for his clients. You're convicted of a felony in the state of Georgia. It's very difficult to get a job. But then on top of that, the punishment could change. That's because Spiesman says felony convictions usually carry prison sentences, while misdemeanor convictions usually don't. We did some checking, and Senate Bill 13 remains in the Senate hopper awaiting a vote. We are live in